Welcome to our channel. Hello, everyone. We are going to be doing um, some math, and we're doing addition. So, these are some rules. Rule number one, we don't run in the classroom, or we can just jump a little, but we don't be crazy in our classroom, or in the last rule is try your best. Okay, let's get started. This is the classroom. This has a lot of stuff around it. And you cannot touch stuff that does not belong to you, especially. This is some three rules. Rule number one, don't run in the hallway. Rule number two, don't be too crazy. In a does anybody know how to count? If you know how to count, you can do math. So this is the math you can do. You can do this one. If that's a little hard, you might think this is hard, but it's actually easy. Because if you have one finger, the other finger, that means it's two. Because there's two fingers, this is um, going to get a little harder and harder. So this is the sum we could do. The front ones are so easier. These ones are easier, but until five, it's gonna be six plus six, and you might think this is hard. But it's a little easy for some people, but it's not easy for a lot of people. It's okay if you don't know. You can practice all day. So I'm gonna write this up. You guys are gonna watch me how I get all the way. So anybody might know these sums, but this one is not seven plus eight, seven plus seven. So you might think this is hard, but it is a little hard for some kids who are four or five years old. It's gonna be hard for them if that is wrong. Okay, so I got all the way to 10. So you might think 10 is hard. So I'm gonna pull up the answer so you know how to do it. So you might think this is easy. Okay, harder and harder. See, the answer is two, and it'll be two plus two is four. And then if it's right, 12 here, you might think this is hard. Does anybody have six fingers to make 12? It's kind of funny, but this is actually 12. You might think this is a little bit hard. It just keeps getting harder and harder. Okay, 11, 12, we'll get like 12 plus 11 and stuff. We'll get like that, okay, everyone? 7 plus 7 is 14, because if you have seven, it will be eight, nine. Well, that's not how you do it. You might do it like that, but it's supposed to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 13 because there's no 7. So I will try to help you guys. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's 14, and that's the answer. We're going to write it on here. Okay, let's write it. And 8 plus 8 is 16. But it's 16, and so getting harder and harder. Okay, 16 goes like this. Make sure when you're writing numbers, you have to make it a little look better. What if you were writing seven, you were writing seven, and you wrote it like this, it would be a L upside down. But it's not the seven though. That's just the whatever line. So it has to go like this, and then it's an example to help you. That's how you do it, you do a line, down, Lying down, it kind of looks like somebody's like closing their eyes, disgust of the food. So let's try. Nine, well, by the way, nine plus nine is 18, but it's just hard. 20, 10 plus 10 is 20, because does anybody have 20 fingers? So this is five, this is five. So we're going to be learning about and we did everything. So here's the 10, which means there's 10. They're the same. So the um, same should be like this. Same. That's the same. 
So you guys have fun today, and it's going to be a lot of one plus one is two, so I'll write it for you. So you, when I wrote it, you guys have to practice that at home. So two plus two is four, because there's four fingers. You might think this is hard, but this is a little easy for some kids. So two fingers and two fingers. You might think this is three, but it's not because it has one, two, three, four. So it's four and three plus three. You guys might think that's hard, but it's six. Like this six and four plus four is eight. But you might think um, this rhyme, four plus four is eight. And that's um, a nice sum that we could do. And people have to practice. It's okay. If you don't know all of the sums, you have to practice. The most important thing is to have fun. And 5 plus 5 is 10. See, my fingers are like this because I drew when you guys were not seeing. So, here is the answer, five. So I can show you some examples how to get that answer. So I'm gonna raise the dot. You could do a number line. Some of you might know number lines, but some of you won't because um, some of you speak in different languages. So here is a number line. There's some numbers I talked about. So at the end, I'm gonna be singing a song to everyone, but it's all about um, uh, Double facts. Okay, so 10 has one zero for 10, of course. And now we're going to do any way, but it's supposed to be from three and two jumps. Okay, one jump, move, and two jump. So we landed on the number five. That's how we can use some example and if you want to learn some new sums you can have some um, a lot of stuff you guys can think about okay so we're going to write addition and facts away and we're going to write it in another area so we're going to write the same sum we did but the add-in switch so you guys can't see i wrote in the corner so we'll see the difference of this fact it's still five. So here is the sum between the. We're going to erase, 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 erase. And we're going to just keep this on, okay? So everyone, um, we're going to learn some examples of um how to do um some um some um, addition. So. Um, if you do three plus two equals, that would be five for you guys. So three dots, two would be five because one, two, three, four. I just want to do this. So the um, stuff can be like this. So three plus two equals five of course three plus two equals five and two plus three equals five so because i just switched the add-ins you guys might not know what add-in means it's a, just a simple word for two of the but there's three of them this is this it's all three of them and the thumb so okay guys i'm gonna sing the song and then we're going to learn a little bit more about math later again so, I'll say it. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Four plus four is eight. Time to come to trend. Four plus four is eight. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Three plus three is six. Four plus four is eight. Time to come to trend. Four plus four is eight. Five plus five is Ten, my friend. Six plus six is twelve. Seven plus seven makes fourteen. And eight plus eight is sixteen. Number nine is eighteen. Ten plus ten is twenty. Two, eleven, the twelve. Eight, ten. Okay, that's that. Just there. Two, oh. Two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twelve. 
many. Oh, here's all the thumbs. But you guys might think this is hard for some, but it's just hard for the people who are young. So we're going to write it again, but I know a lot of it. So if you want me to do another table, it's called table, but it's not the original table. It's this table, it's two table. I can do three, four, and five. I can do five one if you want for me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Ooh. It keeps breaking up to pieces. If you use chalk, it keeps breaking up into pieces. So you guys want me to take the table, help you with this time a little. So I know a little bit of time that I'm gonna write on the board. You just add chalk so then it will be like not messed up. Okay, I'm gonna write the number. Just be patient. And here is the number I just thrown. So I just wrote this time. So I'm gonna write time so you guys know. I, mm, it's gonna be kind of hard to find the review of the answer. So I'm gonna write it because this is my notebook. Here is six. 12 and the last one is 14. If you guys are writing on a book like this, then you might think um this is hard. This you might think this is easy, but it's hard to write because I just wrote it like a little curved line on by the one tile. But you guys will practice. If you guys bend the paper with your other hand, it will be better. I just bend it the side, but you won't be able to see if you are like that. So I have to draw a line so we know what that number is. So this is five plus four. You guys know the sums sometimes. Some of you guys know it. Nine. It's okay if you know the sum. You should not make fun of others who does not know it. Okay, so the next sum is, you guys might think this is hard, but it's just five more. Okay, so it's. So you can use your fingers to help you because um, it will help you with it, but you're gonna learn how to do it without your fingers later. So you guys are gonna learn, okay? Three plus nine is so easy for some kids. So, <coughs> if you use a five table, it will help you with the time. But you might think this won't, but it will. Because um, if I'm doing a spelling and it says, I mm, because the long I it won't be so I have to add a magic E my teacher teach me so if you want to learn how to write the E if you always write it like this in a word that won't make sense if what if I wrote it like this in a word if you go home I'll get you this notebook 